So we finally made it to Balaton Lake and it's beautiful. You should see this. Welcome to Balaton Furet. The small charming town is located on the northern shore of Lake Balaton and it's a very popular holiday destination in Hungary. The name of the town was first mentioned in the estate register of Tihany Abyssi, which we will visit a bit later. Balaton Furet started to truly develop in the 18th century. It became a favorite meeting place for progressive politicians and artists, and in these times, Balaton Furet played a really important role in Hungary. Today, Balaton Furet and the surrounding villages are part of what's known as Balaton Revere and attract many holidaymakers with many festivals and events all year round. As you can imagine, there is no shortage of water activities here. There are two marinas where you can rent a boat, kayak or paddleboard or go cruising in style on one of the retro boats from the main pier. But if water is not your thing, don't worry, there is plenty to do and see on the dry land. Many beautiful parks, historical monuments and of course the views of the lake are amazing. The Dagor Promenade is a short walk from the pier and here you can find a lot of nice cafes, bars and restaurants. A bit further down and we reach Eshterhazi Strand. This is a private beach and considered to be the best spot for sunbathing and swimming. The grounds are well maintained and clean and giant trees like this one will provide a much needed shade. However, you will need to pay for the ticket during the high season. The State Hospital of Cardiology on George Square dates back to the 1870s and is the largest cardiac rehabilitation center in Hungary. was officially declared spa in 1772 and many patients come here to heal and recuperate all year round thanks to the carbonated springs and baths. Wow, it tastes like um, iron. It's supposed to be really good for you. national monuments, important buildings and numerous traditions that come from that era. For instance, the first Anna Ball was held here in the Horvath mansion in 1825. Now it's the most important social annual gathering around Lake Balaton. The first ball was organized on the day of Saint Anna, July 26, 1825 by Philip Janos Horvath in honor of his daughter, Christina. Exploring the town, we took a bus to Tihain Peninsula where we will visit the famous Tihain Abbey.
Tihain Abbey is a Benedict monastery established in 1055 by King Andrew I of Hungary. King Andrew was buried in the church of the monastery in 1060. His tomb in the crypt of the church is the only grave of medieval king of Hungary which has been preserved up until now. The oldest written words in the Hungarian language can be found here in the establishing charter of the abbey dating back to 1055. see many works of religious art and historical artifacts on display, including the Holy Crown of Hungary, also known as the Crown of Saint Stephen, named in order of Saint Stephen I of Hungary. Due to its excellent location, the abbey has an amazing view of the eastern corner of Lake Balaton, as well as the south shore. This place is mighty impressive. After taking in incredible panoramic views from the Abbey grounds, we went to explore the village. is a gem of Tihain and the recipient of the most beautiful renovated village in Europe award in 2014. It's a charming small village with nice restaurants and many shops. If you love lavender, you're in for a treat. Here you will find everything you can imagine made with this flower, which has long played a prominent role in the life of Tihain Peninsula. Balaton, but it was time for us to pack our bags and head back to Jor, where we will catch our train to our final destination, Budapest. Of course, we couldn't leave without taking a boat ride on the lake, so the next morning, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> 